Well, here we go. Today is the day that the Fed is supposed to cut rates. Now, the question is, are they going to cut a quarter of a percent or a half a percent or some hybrid in between? Like some people are even saying 30, 37 and a half basis points. Basis points is basically a fancy way of saying percent kind of when you put the decimal point in there. But, you know, half a percent is 50 basis points. All right. So now you know the, the, the language. Um, it looks like the Fed is behind the curve. Now, everybody's saying, oh, they did a great job in engineering a soft landing. But, you know, we've had gigantic inflation. And I know they're only saying it's two and a half percent now uh, on the year. But prices aren't going down to what they were, you know, four years ago when now they're up at least 60 percent in a lot of things. I, you know, I did a video a couple of weeks ago that inflation is about 11.1 percent for the average basket of goods in your house. I don't care what the basket of goods that the government uses because they skew those things to make statistics look better. So the Fed is coming out today and I wanna just show you, uh, you know, this is an article from Yahoo Finance today. And it said, Fed officials set to cut rates for the first time in four years. Now I want you to look at these rates. Look at back in 2006, it was five and a quarter percent. Now, that was a pretty decent economy then. And then they had to cut them all the way down to a zero to a quarter percent. Right. That's a drastic amount of cutting. And then it just boosted so far up that it was that was a record setting raise. And now we're getting ready to be to this point. Are we back the same as we were in 2006? Like is the economy sitting on the precipice? A lot of people are saying we're going to a recession. I don't think two economies ever mirror each other. They may rhyme a little bit, but I don't think they mirror each other. And so right now what we're looking at is we're looking at this Fed that has to continue to lower rates. They're forced into a corner because the market's already lowering rates for them on a lot of the fixed instruments. And so now they're behind and nobody wants to buy their bonds. So they've got to lower rates to raise the prices of the bonds. Still nobody wants to buy them. And, um, and they'll even want to buy them less as they lower rates. What that means, though, to the U.S. economy, for example, because we're printing a trillion dollars of interest increases every hundred days, they're raising the rates on themselves all this time. And they have to lower the rates just to be able to afford the interest on the debt, which is now one of the biggest line items. I think it's even bigger than the military. Uh, the debt is uh, and the interest on the debt is bigger than the military expenditure. So. You know, we're we're not going backwards. We're good. This is a big inflationary economy. This is what happens at the end of 700 currencies that I've looked into. Uh, they start to spiral out of control and they have to print more and more and more fake money in order to be able to support the prior fake money that was given. Nobody's talking, you know, as they run for office here of lowering the budget, maybe a little bit of let's make things more efficient that Trump is saying he's going to bring Elon Musk in. But he's not saying we're going to balance the budget. We're going to cut the budget. You know, much as uh, I, I like Trump versus the other side, you know, Trump has always been somebody that uses debt in all of his businesses to finance his businesses. And he's a smart businessman because debt, you know, if you if you get money and you only have to pay two or three or four percent on it, but inflation's higher than that, it's actually an arbitrage. So it's smart to do that for your business, right? Your the asset value of your business goes up and the debt value of your business goes down. So it's smart to do that. And he was doing that with the U.S. government, especially during the COVID period where he gets, um, you know, he gets bashed for raising money. But everybody wanted to print money and give it out. And they're going to do it again, guys. They're going to do it again. They're not talking about cutting budgets. They're talking about sending more of your money overseas, sending more bombs to different countries, giving them jets and giving them different things. And they're not talking about loaning those countries money because they can't pay them back. They're just giving them the money. Where does that money come from? Well, they say it comes from the taxpayer. Well, yeah, you're paying taxes, nominal, but now they're printing so much more money, it's even more inflationary. So bottom line here, what, do you, what can you do? You gotta be in assets, right? You've gotta be in stocks, preferably cash flowing stocks. You've gotta be in real estate, preferably cash flowing real estate and not risky real estate where you're sticking neck, your neck out with too much debt. And then you've got to you've got to look at how those assets are going to rise over time. Now, gold, silver, Bitcoin, these are all hard assets as well. And so you want to be in assets if you are in, you know, just paying the bills and, you know, buying things that are declining in value. That's not going to help you. So you've got to take this Fed rate because there's going to be more of them coming uh, as they start to chop. 
That's gonna raise the value of treasuries, right? On the books of anybody that's got treasuries, but it's also gonna raise the value of assets because it's an inflationary thing that Fed is doing. So you've gotta keep an eye on articles like this, which are telling you, hey, look, we're lowering the rates. As we lower the rates, it's gonna become even more inflationary because we're gonna to need to print more money to support the debt. We're gonna to have to print more money to give it out in welfare. We got all these people coming into the country. All of these things are adding and adding and adding to the debt, which means more money gets printed and more inflation for you. See you on the next video.